so what I was saying, customer reviews. So what I've heard from different people is um, you kind of have to decide what's going to be like your main thing, whether it's going to be Google reviews, Zillow, like where you want to realtor. Not, like you got to decide like, okay, this is the main one because some strategies I've heard is they'll send an email that'll say, you know, you know, if you'd like to leave a review and they'll give the links to each different place, but they'll have like their main one or they'll say, oh, if you do one or more, you can enter into this giveaway or they might send you a gift card or, you know, different strategies to, to get it, get it done. You know what I'm saying? And tips, just copy and paste from, you know, if you do more than one copy and paste and, but you got to kind of have one main one that you want to focus on because they have to create an account most of the time to leave a review on most mm. places so like if they're most agents most people are on zillow you know what i'm saying but if it's like realtor.com and maybe they're not they didn't use realtor.com they would have to create an account to leave a review so you kind of just kind of decide which one you want to focus on but you can still have options for the other ones and they just enticing them with uh gift cards or opportunities for giveaways or things like that also, I've heard strategies of doing it throughout the process. Um, kind of like the same you do referrals, you know what I mean? Kind of ask for that feedback during the process. Like, oh, I'm so right. excited. I got I what? a contract or whatever. Yeah. So, so, like, my thing literally is, like, when you say Google reviews, so I need to go and figure out, like, how to do that, like, you know. Like I, I like 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 the I need the mechanics of how do you set that up and all. So I'll have to do some research on on that piece. Yep, absolutely. Yep, but I would say get one that you want to focus on, and then that's the one that you highlight and promote, and that and then that way you can kind of flood that one, and then hopefully it can trickle into the other ones. But people are not likely to click on a bunch of them and do a but unless there there's a reward. <laughs> Right, right. I got you. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking Google, but I, you know, I don't know. I'm kind of thinking on, Google but... too. I'm thinking Google too because almost everybody has a Gmail or Google something. Almost everyone. And it would be easy because most of the time, if it's something Google related, they're just like, oh, click on your book and it links it and you can do whatever instead of start creating a whole account. So um, between Google and Zillow, to be honest, are probably going to be the biggest bang for your buck. But, you know, Ooh. we want to stay on Google. <laughs> Um, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Today is a fantastic, thankful Thursday. It is a special Thursday. Can anybody tell me why today is a special day? Not just because it's Thursday, it just happens to fall on a Thursday. Middle of the month. Middle of the month. Okay, so what does that mean? It's the 15th protocol. It's Which 15 means, protocol time. <laughs> Tell us, Joe, what does it mean? So 15 protocol means that you need to look at what your goals were or are for the month and determine, hey, am I on track to meet my goal or am I behind? And if I'm behind, identify, hey, what am I going to do to close the gap? Which means that I may need to do something extra make more calls, knock on more doors, send out more cards. And that's 15 protocol. Yes, it is. Thank you, Joe. I really appreciate you explaining that to the team. So if you're like, what, what goals? Your, your, your goals, your listing appointment goals. So most everybody's goal is one seller appointment per week, right? So today is when Thursday. <laughs> and so we have a couple of days left in this week. So if you have not set up a seller appointment yet or went on your appointment yet, then today you have to make a decision on what am I going to do today differently such by doing this activity, I will get my appointment, right? 
It's not hard to get those appointments if you get put a little effort into it. It's really not that hard, right? So back in the day, original OG PC group from forever ago, I used to give these little envelopes that said 15th protocol. And it had like your goals on the bottom. So my goals for the month were three listing appointments and two listings taken. So by the 15th, if I haven't went on one to two listing appointments and taken a listing, then I'm behind. So then I go in my envelope and you don't cheat and pick your favorite one. You go in <laughs> and you pull out an activity. So this activity is 50 database calls and 25 handwritten notes. If you made 50 calls to somebody in your database, do you think you could find one person that will let you come over and talk to them about the equity in their house? Can I get it? Sure. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting a couple nods. Okay. Yes, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you the answer to the test. Yes, yes, you will. Another activity. Go fly or drop a subdivision, i.e. door knock. If you door knock the subdivision, and let's put a number on it, I don't need 25, 25 homes. If you door knock 25 homes, do you think you could find one seller lead? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, 50 expired calls. Can you find one seller lead? Yes. 50 for sale by owner calls. Yes. And bold 100. So bold 100 is meeting 100 people in a day. But now they have the reverse bold 100, the reverse reverse bold 100. <laughs> they, they tweaked that bold 100 so many times. Um, but any of these activities, any one of these activities will get you at least one seller lead. Am I right or am I right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And you have to decide, okay, self, Hey girl, <laughs> you know, you didn't get your appointment this week, which activity, you know, or what, you know, pull out the activity and make that your one thing. Don't think about nothing else. Just complete that one activity to get the result that you need, which is that appointment there. I challenge anyone. If you do any of these activities and you don't get one appointment, I give you a lead. There's no way you can't get an appointment, right? Thoughts, questions, feelings. Oh, I got a quick question. Yes. All right. So I'm going to hella appointments, right? My appointment closing ratio is zero. I can't close them because everybody hits me. They hit me with the, I got to talk to my wife. After, after I show them everything, I get to the, I got to talk to my wife or I got to talk to my husband or I'm going to sell it myself or, and I'm like, Bro, I literally did everything I could. I gave them the 24 hour cancellation and they still not trying to rock with me. So these are for sale by owners. Yeah. Okay, so you're saying you're meeting. So, so I, and I love this Al because Al was calling Fizzbo's and could, it wasn't getting an appointment. We helped that out. Now he's getting mad appointments and now we got to work on the closing part of it, right? The conversation when you get there. So give me an example of what happened? So you got the appointment, you got there. Give me an example of one. Oh my gosh, somebody's calling me. How can I cancel this? Decline. All right, so I walk in, hey, um, hello, I'm Al with Keller Williams. We had an appointment at three o'clock. And then I walk in, boom, boom. Now we're in there, they're showing me the house, they're showing me all the stuff they did, boom, 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 boom. Now we're sitting down. And I have a whole, hold on, let me get my check. I have a whole, checklist like sheet of paper that I read down the questions that I ask them. Uh, should this in my office. All right. Okay, so I go to the questions and I ask them if they have an HOA, if they have a payment amount the amenities included in the HOA, why they're selling, where they're moving to, how soon needs to be in your new house, the current sale price, why did you choose your price, recent appraisal, willing to lower your price, how long have you been trying to sell your house by yourself, how are you marketing it, 
Are you aware of my methods? Are you willing to pay a buyer's agent? Have you sold a house before? Have you ever worked with a real estate agent? So I'm asking them all these questions and I'm chopping it up. I'm writing notes, taking notes. We're having a good time. And then I hit them with the, so we have a 24 hour cancellation clause. If anything, if you feel like this isn't working for you, that's cool. We can just stop. You have to, you can cancel at any time. Just let's get this started now. So which, then I'm like, boom. So, and I, I hit them with hello yeses. I'm like, you're having a good time. I see you did a good place with your house. Yeah, 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 everything's cool. I'm hitting them with hello yeses. And by the time I asked for them to sign the contract, they're like, nah, I mean, we just got on the market. I want to see how it works out. I follow up and they're like, yeah, it's still on the market. Okay, why are they selling? So the last dude I talked to, he was like, he's trying to take advantage of the market. He, he saw, saw a house that sold for 540 in his townhouse area. And he was like, yo, I can probably get 575 because mine looks better. And I'm like, that's cool. Hey, right. And then he said, I said, so what does that selling your house do? He said, I want to get into my own single family. I don't want to have a townhouse anymore because I'm going to have another kid in the future. Bam, bam, bam. I'm like, that's fine. And that's it. He's from Michigan. He's a he's an engineer. Makes good money. Everything's cool. So we chopped it up for a good minute. I was out at the house for like an hour. We started talking about sports and video games and stuff. Like it was cool. And I'm I'm like bet. So I I feel like I'm in there. And I'm like so I so here so I asked him, have you ever enlisted with an agent? He said he listed his first house with an agent. I'm like, that's cool. So you already know the process. So why not list with an agent now? Because on average, an agent gets you 102% more than if you do it yourself. And he was like, yeah, but I don't know. I feel like I can do it myself. So I gave him the FISBO book. Like, I gave him the FISBO book, and I started, like, going over all the steps that he has to take. And he's like, okay, but I still feel like I could do it. So at that point, there's nothing else I can do. I'm legit trying everything. And he's like, nah, I'll do it myself. Is this your first time meeting him? Yeah, that was my first time meeting him. That was back on Tuesday. That was on Tuesday. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. So what, what do you have to say? Eight contacts. Eight contacts. You already know where I was going. Wow. <laughs> My thing is, is you got to think of it this way. You planted the seed and you watered it one time. You got to water it some more. They already told you their motivation. Y'all chopped it up. Y'all having a good time. You built rapport. You did what you what, what you were supposed to do for that meeting is you built that rapport and, and uh, you built that relationship with them, right? So mm -hmm. they still had hope that they could sell it on their own is what they're saying. They still yeah. got hope. There's still something underneath the why they don't want to list with an agent when they know they're going to get more money. Why well, still think I can do it on my own? So what do you what do you think the benefit is of you doing it on your own versus getting over the list price with the, what you typically get with, would get with an agent? What's the benefit there? So most of the time they're thinking they're going to save money. But when you break it down, because you asked the question, will they pay a buyer's agent? He said yes. Yeah, he said he said he okay. would pay a buyer's agent. So, I'm... So, so let's break down the numbers, though. When you're a listing agent, how much do you charge to list the house? I don't... It's different. It's supposed to be 6%, but... It is 6%. It is 6%. There ain't no but. It's 6, 7, okay. 8%. Don't go, don't go backwards. <laughs> okay? All right. 6%. And when, as a listing agent, you share 3% to the co-op agent, the buyer's agent, right? So he is already willing to pay that 3%. So what are we really talking about here? We're really only talking about 3%, right? Mm -hmm. So if on average, if on average, when you list with the agent, you get 102% or more, that, that, that cost is already broken in, built in. So like I would have, and maybe not this conversation because you got to also understand there's some people that got to marinate on it. They got to like, everything you said is good. Everything was good. But they still, they got to marinate on it. It sounds like it's almost too good to be true, <laughs> right? 
So mm-hmm. they got it. So so it's not like a loss. No, I think you'll definitely get this listing, but it's going to require more touches because you called, right? You went out there, you met him. Mm-hmm. So we're at two touches. So send that note card, do some follow up. You know what I'm saying? You within a couple more touches, if that house has not sold, you'll get that listing. Okay. Cause they, cause most, most all for sale by owners are going to list with the first agent they met face to face. And they can remember y'all had a great conversation in that handwritten note card. I would thank them for letting me take a look at their house, spending time with me. And also I would reiterate something in that conversation about the sports, you know, whatever y'all was talking about, reiterate that in the conversation, throw a couple business cards in there and send that note card. And then you can follow up and say, hey, did you get my note card? So that now we're at touch four. Okay. So by the time you get these rest of these touches in, a couple more days pass by, they're eventually going to start to say, okay, well, if it's all, if I could cancel 24 hours, did you do like this? Like, so I'll tell them, listen, give me seven days. Give me seven days. If I can't get you multiple offers in seven days, I will take my own sign and go. Okay. Right? Because I'm not, I don't need you to commit to me for three months or two months or 30 days. Give me a week. Give me a week. And if I can't get you the offers you want, I'll take my sign. Okay. So now that you kind of built a relationship, they already know they got 24 hours they can cancel. They are, you know, you will probably get that listing if you continue to do the follow up. It's the fortune is in the follow up. I cannot stress this enough. Fortune is in the follow up. You will right. get this in the follow up. Every single one of these fizzbos that you went to see or you haven't seen yet, and you are attempting to make contact, you got to do all the steps: handwritten note cards, call them back again, shoot them a text message. You could even do. Uh, they were talking about videos this morning. You, you could, or was that on the pre-show? I got to get on that pre-show. They'd be dropping good stuff in the pre-show. The one on Clubhouse. No, the one that so James Shaw starts at eight, but if you jump on early, like seven forty-five, they already on there talking about stuff. But okay. they they're not live yet. Uh, but they were talking about videos, and so you could even do a video and say, "Hey, this is Al, your local real estate uh, broker or agent, and you know we're sharing our Fizbo do-it-yourself package. Would you like a copy? Please reply yes or yes." <laughs> okay. Right. So when they get to see, you know, you hear you, then there's a level of comfortability. There's a level of we know each other. Therefore, I'll list with you. Right. Mm -hmm. So exciting. Do you have a listing sign? Um, I think it hasn't come yet. I know I ordered it. Okay. I don't know if it's here yet. As long as you ordered it, everybody should have at least one listing sign. If you don't have one listing sign, how serious are you about getting a listing? What you going to put out there? You cannot stand out there all day. <laughs> Be like, hey, come over here. Come over here. <laughs> okay. Any uh, any thoughts? Qu- did, did that help, Al? It did. You like got the this. seven day thing. You got this. Seven days. Give it a go. If not, then hey, by next week, you're right back where you were anyway. Still for sale. Right. <laughs> <laughs> what up? Yeah, what I what I liked about what Al was sharing was that I mean, he, I think, I mean, it seemed like he he connected, and yeah, I mean, in particular, guys, and he's an engineer. <laughs> Light up Joe's alley. <laughs> Engineers, you know, they already think they're the smartest ones in the room, so <laughs> of course they want to sell it themselves. But you know, they're also very practical, so. You know, let him let him simmer a little while, stay in touch, like Alicia was saying. The the good thing is that I mean, you you made an initial a great connection, and so if you, I think like she was saying, if you just follow up with him and stay in touch, feed him some some information, whatever, and I could definitely see that you know see you getting that listing. So, all right. This is so exciting. Now, when you get that listing, you got to do that mega open house, like you got to. You got to get to work when you get that listing. Okay. That's when the real work yeah. begins. Right, Joe? <laughs> yeah. That's right. Then you got to maximize because that listing got to get you another listing. That's the game. That's the game. 
Um, okay, guys, what, any thoughts or feelings about James Shaw or script practice this morning? Yeah, I mean, what I what I picked up from the uh, from the James Shaw call um, is just interesting to me. Now you 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 see these um, you know mega agents, these folks who are super successful, but they're you know like paying attention. Okay, what's going on? What's going on in the market right now? And what does that mean for how we need to approach things? And you know what we might need to it's not like you're veering off the, the script because obviously everything James talks about comes out of the <laughs> the shift book or MREA you know book, but they're constantly looking at what's going on and uh, looking to adapt to to the current you know market and trying to figure out hey what's going to work you know right now. So that's I just think that's a that's a good you know it's a good thing to see whatever is that, you know, these folks who've been in the game for a while that um, the other thing was that, that again, it's like stuff you hear over and over again, but like Dan to uh was talking, you know, there was some comments made about how over the last year or year and a half, whatever, how he's committed to scripts and role plays and really practicing that and you know how his you know his business is really blowing up because of that because of being more confident and having conversations with people and you know knowing how to respond to you know to different objections and and i think that's a big i think that's a huge thing is you know when you're talking to folks is for to speak with confidence and for people to feel confident that you're going to be able to get the you know be able to get the job done um and get them what they want so anyhow all of that to me is just reinforcement to keep doing those things and you know keep doing the scripts and role plays and uh, anyhow that, that was kind of my thoughts from this morning I, and i like that you said that because if you were on this morning james went through those six um business uh what yeah uh anyway I, 38 I, Yes, page 38. So I put it in the coaching page. And so it's six things that you should be doing in your business at a, at a high level. And so you can rate yourself on one to 10. How good do you think you are at those six things? And then the one that you have the least amount of score in is probably the one you want to work on. Right. And so what I really liked is that the main thing on there it's it's one but it's like levels to this one um so where did it go where did i post it at um it was lead generation capture and convert lead generate capture convert to appointments so when that's like 52 things rolled up into one thing <laughs> yeah <laughs> right it sounds very simple, lead generate, capture, and convert into appointments. The lead generation requires you to have scripts and dialogue practice because you could call 100 people and get no appointments or you could call four and get two, right? That That's coming from scripts practice and dialogue practice, right? So that's lead generation. And then to capture, and to convert, that all comes from conversation, <laughs> right? To get to the appointment, because when you get to the appointment, there's more objections. You got to know scripts. So what I'm saying is the first thing that you got to be really good at, which is lead generate, capture, and convert. The only thing, the, 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 the one thing that you can do to be way better at that is script practice and dialogue practice. I, there's no other way around it. Because you're either going to script practice and dialogue with agents or you're going to do it out there and then then realize, oh, this ain't working and then figure out what it is you need to change and then it'll work. So instead of be, be proactive and when you do the script practice and dialogue, it builds the confidence for you to do more lead generation because this is a numbers game and a contact sport. OK, so if you're not making contacts every day then 
you're not gonna you're not gonna win which means get a check <laughs> right so whatever your dpa points are for today those five activities calls conversations appointments handwritten note cards drop by pop buys if you do a combination of these you'll get your conversations in right thoughts feelings questions is anybody not clear on what they should do today i'm just wondering if you're not clear shoot me a text okay just shoot me a text i got you okay you ain't got to tell everybody just just shoot me a text i got you if you're unclear on what you need to do today because today's a special day it's not only thankful thursday it's the 15th so you still have time it's half time right i've stopped watching basketball because the hawks are not in it anymore so i have no <laughs> idea what's going on joe <laughs> i was all in it when the hawks was in then i was like Ugh. anywho so but i just know that you can come back from half time and you got to put that extra effort in, okay? So if you need any help with that, please let me know. Any questions, thoughts, or feelings? Uh, Who needs yeah. help with DocuSign? I don't even know how to use DocuSign. Okay, if you need help with DocuSign, there is a class today at 11 o'clock, DocuSign Basics and Templates. So if you have not ever used DocuSign, get into the class. If you use DocuSign, and you're still fumbling around, get into the class, right? Thoughts, questions, feelings on that. <laughs> Dom, did you have a question? Nah, more, more so a comment. Okay, what's that? So um, I was the top offer with that with the girl with the 15000 over appraisal. So I was the top three offer twice. And then I guess I, they picked somebody else. So today she said, forget it. We picked another house. She said twenty thousand over. So if I don't win this, I I better. I better. We we twenty we uh twenty thousand one hundred over appraised value. So I I better win. If I don't win, somebody gives me a house. I need a four bedroom <laughs> in Gwinnett or Decab. What? So. What? So what? What? Can you explain like when you say you're you're the best offer? Now she but, said I was. They told me I was the top three offer. She, uh, the listing agent was saying, "Yeah, you're in the top three. And it was funny because both of the houses I put an offer in, they both said the same thing. I was top three, but I guess because it's FHA, I got beat out by a cash offer. I don't know, but I I kind of been trying to get her, trying to get her. Everything else for me been slowed down because she's in the basement at her boyfriend's mother house. She moved from Philadelphia, so. I've been focused on her and I've been slipping on all my other stuff. So I got to get her something like she has the cash, you know, we putting in offers everywhere, but now we at this 20, I just feel like we got to win like 20,000. Are you doing backups on the other ones? Um, So I asked, I asked uh, the, the listing agent, you know, about the backup and she was like, uh, well, we haven't picked the offer yet. So, but um, yeah, she said, uh, that's what she said. And I, I didn't kind of understand. I was like, you ain't picked an offer yet. Yeah. She was like, yeah, to get a backup. So I don't know if she didn't understand or I didn't understand. I don't know. No, you tell her I want to be the backup. Right. You want to be the backup. Send her the backup form and the contract again. <laughs> be like, okay. hey, can you call me? Can you sign this backup? So that you become the official next contract. Otherwise, if that other one turns. And 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 I want you guys to understand. When they when the listing agents take these cash offers, they can it's it's almost like 50-50 chance because if if that as a listing agent, when you have more than one listing, you'll start to see the same investor send you cash mm -hmm. offers. They're blind offers and typically don't always go through, right? right? So unless you have unless it's a cash buyer buyer who sold a house and got cash, that's different. So it's a chance that cash offer may not work out because there's cash offers on every single listing. I guarantee you right now, everyone. Yes, Joe. So I, I was a little bit, I'm a little bit confused. So do you know specifically, so two things. Well, okay, let me start here. 
if she's saying they haven't picked an they haven't picked an offer, does that mean that you guys are still in play, and that you you know maybe you can adjust the offer? I'm I'm confused by that. I I was thinking about that too when she told me I was the top three offer. I didn't know if she was trying to hint. Do I want to make it better? Oh, that's that's, that's, Zilla. that's what it that's what it, it sounds like. There's an opportunity there to engage her on, you know what. <laughs> what, what, was, is the, what the seller looking for and you know where could you adjust your, your offer so she helped me out this is why i thought i won this is what i took a huge blow to my heart she was like okay well um you you got the uh due diligence at five everybody all my offers are doing three i said okay i put it down to three and then she was like uh the earnest money you got all three boxes checked. I just need you to check the wired box. I was like, okay, I went in there. I, I did that. Okay, done. And then um, she looked over everything else. She was like, okay, this looks great. I was like, great. I Thank you. You've been great. I love you. Please pick me. And then, <laughs> and then after, then the next day, I was like, I guess I lost. She was like, no, the owner um, didn't make a decision last night. We're going to make a decision today. I was like, cool, great. Then I hit her up again. She was like, Still didn't make a um, decision, but you're the top three. You're in the top three. And then after that, I just haven't heard. I haven't heard anything. Oh, so you're not out yet. You're not out. Yeah. You're not out yet. I, yeah. So two things. I, I was like, until you hear, until you hear no, then I assume, hey, we're still in play. The other thing is for the, for the offers that you're, where you're not being selected, I would go back to the agents and ask them, Hey, what could we have done, you know, to 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 win this, um, you know? Okay. And then one. You know what I mean? To, to win, and so maybe they'll share with you. Well, hey, look, we had a cash offer that was fifty thousand over, or whatever. You know, and you're like, okay, at least you know what you're what you're up against and and where you're falling short. Right. And then one agent on the house, she was like. Wasn't hitting me back at all. Like her phone would go straight to voicemail. And I understand that everybody probably calling her, but then I'll text her. She wouldn't text me back. And then when she finally did text me back, I was like, hey, do you uh have the disclosures? You know, she's like, oh yeah, I'll get that right to you. And then she never sent that to me. And then I was like, and then I text her again, okay, I'm gonna send you an offer anyway. We'll handle all that later. You know, so I sent her the offer and then I haven't heard back from her either. So you got to continue to reach out. I'm telling you that the struggle of a listing agent is that your phone just goes off. It's 52,000 messages. And that's probably not their only piece of business. So if you got two or three listings out there, my God, it's a freaking hectic crazy. So she may have, I've, I've done it. I told people, yes, I'll send you that as soon as I get a chance. And I immediately forgot as soon as I said it. <laughs> so, you know, at, you got to stay on top of these listing agents. So now this is just my style, but I'll send a gift, gift right away. Like, hey, I'll be praying. I'll be all kind of gifts and gifts. I'm trying to make them. I need you to remember me. Okay. Because we got to get this worked out. So I love what Joe said. If you're putting in offers and not winning, you have got to get feedback. You've got to get feedback from those agents because Dom, five days, cut it to three. More earnest money. Now the different boxes, that don't mean nothing. I don't know why she even said that. That was stupid. Yeah. But um, but more earnest money, less due diligence days. Brenda's putting offers with no finance contingency, no appraisal contingencies out there. So it's not that 20,000 plus taking those terms down should help you win. But I don't think you're out of the game on those two. Now, of course, keep on moving forward, put more offers in, see more houses, but there's still opportunity there unless they have told you, like Joe said, no. Okay, cool. Just keep well, sending I'm, text messages. Yeah, I'm, I'm about to blow them up I'm like an ex girlfriend today. As soon as we Seriously. get off this phone, <laughs> I'm about to blow them up because I hope I might get the one today, 20,000 over. But like, like I said, I'm going to just try. I'm going to call them all, though. Call and call and text, call and text, call and text, and 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 uh, you'll get in there. Uh, but you got the. I think you. I think one of those. Yeah, guys, the girl. The girl liked me. She already talked about was, the video. Who's the agent? Uh huh. Um. When you uh -huh. find it, text it to me. Can he Copeland? Um. That's not 
That's Tanise. Uh, not Tanise. Yeah, I just seen her name tripping. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I got to text you, text you the agent name, but she she seemed real cool. Um, Is she, she an older black lady? No, nah, she's not. I don't think she's KW. No. Okay. Just find her, find find that info, reach out. It text me her name is, I'm going to just see if I know her or anything. You know what I'm saying? But okay. reach out to her and just keep on texting and, and try to get her attention. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I, at least my my buyer, she like, she fired somebody for me. She She's already talking about the videos we're going to make when we get the house. I'm like, oh, she loves me. Thank God I got to find her something. You will find her something. Just keep pushing, keep putting aggressive offers in. Talk to the agents. Do your best to get feedback and, and okay. see what you can do. Uh, very Thank good. You. All right, you guys. It seems like we got some activity going on, okay? So get out there in those real estate streets today. Do your DPA points. Make sure you do your 15th protocol activity if for some reason you are not hitting your goal, okay? So let's go ahead and take a deep breath in. Okay, let's get the, the arms up, energy going and flowing, okay? We're going to get our affirmations, okay? We are money magnets. Money flows through us easily and freely. We okay. are listing experts and magnets, and we're the kings and queens of follow-up and eight touches right there in the neck, okay? And don't forget to use your Facebook money, use it or lose it. Heart you all. See you tomorrow. If you need anything, give me a call. <laughs> hey, Chrissy. Hello. I lost my key.